Some rocket launchers should have different places on your screen, such as the default rocket launcher, original and the cow mangler. This is because depending on the rocket launcher you equip, the model size and placement changes. This changes the launch angle of your rocket jump, with most rocket launchers sending to the left, the original being a straight line and the cow mangler sitting in between these two. With it being easier to pogo with the original because it shoots in a straight line, stronger wall jumps with the default rocket launcher because rockets come out of the right side of your screen, and the cow mangler sitting in between these two. In the world of rocket jump maps, a technique has developed where it's sometimes required to switch to the rocket launcher to save the most amount of time. On jumps that have a big drop down, you'd normally have to wall pogo downwards, which is very slow. You can also just do it angled B up if you know how to do it. Angled B-Ops is a complicated technique whereby looking at specific coordinates doing a rocket jump and jumping just before you hit the teleport trigger, which would normally send you back at the starting point of the jump section, you'll ignore basic design of a jump map by skipping said teleport triggers. Although you don't necessarily need to stick to one of the rocket launchers for angled B-Ops, but it's sometimes easier for one of the rocket launchers to do an angled b up in certain spots. I won't go into the exact details that make this technique work. But basically, when falling really fast, the game skips some units of checking your collision to catch up to the player model. We can abuse this by jumping on the teleport trigger the same frame that the game is trying to catch up and thus skip a teleport trigger. Angled B-Hop is definitely not the only way to skip teleport triggers, as jump bugs also can skip these triggers. Jump bugs are a source engine bug whereby uncrouching and jumping at the same time as you're landing, the game thinks you didn't touch the ground, allowing you to avoid fall damage and skip teleport triggers. This is useful for spots in jump maps where wall bogus or angled b ups take too long to set up or aren't possible. And this is not just specific to soldier, as any class can do it jump poke. Which thinking about it now, I am afraid of a world where a medic starts jump poking. Anyways, if we're gonna talk about rocket jumping, you probably need to equip the gunboats. However, it's a little bit inconsistent. If you have the gunboats equipped, you take a 60% reduction from rocket jumping, combined with the soldier's default rocket jump reduction of 40%. And because percent is multiplicative, this stacks up to a 76% reduction when rocket jumping. Although, it seems like rocket jumping is very loosely defined. For example, with the gunboats, all reductions apply only in the air. If you're standing on the ground, in water, near enemies, while in the air, only the gunboat's 60% reduction is applied. And without the gunboats, no reductions apply when you're in water, on the ground, or near enemies. With only etf 2 l designed to fix this by implementing a plugin that makes the gunboats always apply in what I assume to be an effort to buff Soldier, with it being implemented in October 2020. And with Uncle Topia also surprisingly using this plugin. However, this was a pretty decisive topic as people felt this would lead to more powerful bombs for less effort due to the survivability of not taking as much damage when you're next to enemies. The general consensus seems to be that it may just be a little bit too much with the lack of self-damage when it comes to standing next to enemies. For example, normally self-damage while being next to an enemy is around 70 HP, but with the plugin it's around 15 to 25 depending on how far away you are from your enemy. This is a big deal as you're able to do maximum amounts of damage by getting right next to the enemy without dying after about 2 rockets. Thus being able to live longer, you're able to shoot more rockets and do more damage. However, an unforeseen consequence of this is that soldiers can just wall the through chokes into the enemy team and only take 18 damage per rocket, while not having to bomb at all. Self-damage is a big thing in soldier 1v1s, especially in tight spaces, as you'd already be really close to your enemies. Although it's not a common situation that you can just walk up to enemies and only take 18 damage. I didn't touch on a lot of the obvious ones like wall bugs or sea tapping as I wanted to shine more light on lesser alone ones. Thanks for waiting, thanks for watching, have a good one.